Hello, Synapse community. My name is Ryan Majidimer. I'm a program manager, program manager, product manager, one of those two on the Synapse team. And welcome to the Synapse June update. Well, I'm sure everybody heard, or most people heard. Well, let me put it this way. If you haven't heard, there was big news at Build last month. Microsoft Fabric was announced. And with that, as you can imagine, Synapse is a giant part of Microsoft Fabric, and there's going to be some changes around here. Not big changes. Well, actually, pretty big changes. Uh, let's, let, let's get into it. So, for starters, all the Fabric blog content will now live on, or <laughs> now live, will live on the Fabric blog. If you're looking for blog content on Azure Synapse, Check out the Tech Community blog, the existing blog that we've been using up until this point. So nice delineation there. Fabric stuff, Fabric blog, Azure stuff, Tech Community blog. And with that, these monthly updates are going to shift focus a little bit. And I'm going to be focusing exclusively on all the Synapse experience within Fabric. If you're looking for all that content, like I said, for Azure Synapse, those will be now posted as just one-off posts as the features roll out within the Tech Community blog. Let's see, what else do we have? Uh, oh, and of course, you can find descriptions for, er, <laughs> links in the description for this video for all those blog sites. Well, let's get into it. First, we have Data Warehouse. Synapse Data Warehouse in Microsoft Fabric is the first data warehouse that supports multi-table transactions and natively embraces an open data format. The warehouse is built on the well-established SQL Server Query Optimizer, an enterprise-grade distributed query processing engine that enables industry-leading performance at scale and eliminates the need for configuration and management. For data engineering, Synapse Data Engineering empowers data engineers to be able to transform their data at scale using Spark and build out their lakehouse architecture. There are five key areas of Synapse Data Engineering that you can start leveraging for your projects today. Lakehouse for all your organizational data, performance Spark Engine and Runtime, Spark Admin and Configurations, Developer Experience, and Platform Integration. Data Science. Synapse Data Science provides data scientists with an end-to-end -end workflow for building their machine learning models, all the way from exploration to model scoring. Data Science and Fabric is deeply integrated with the rest of the stack meaning it is seamless to score data in a lake house, write back predictions to one lake, and visualize the data in reports using direct lake mode. Real-time analytics. Real-time analytics is a fully managed big data analytics platform optimized for streaming and time series data. The services in real-time analytics provide the capability to capture transform, and route real-time events to and from different environments. Well, that wraps it up for this month. As always, my name is Ryan Majidimer. Thanks for tuning in to the June Synapse Monthly Update. Tell us in the comments, which experience within the Synapse experience is your favorite? I'd love to hear about it. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.